It really is about the terrain. What's going on here is that firefighters are going to have a very difficult time getting up that terrain, maneuvering bulldozers around some of those spots because what we're dealing with here is a lot of those slopes. If you've ever gone skiing, you know the slopes are steep. You have to get up on one of those chair lifts to get to the top. And you can see here at Sierra Tahoe, it's going to take a lot to get to the top. The black diamonds, the blue ones, just trying to get down all of those slopes. In between that, when the snow is gone, you see this. You get a lot of those trees very high. You get rugged terrain. You have a lot of dry brush and vegetation right between some of those rocks and boulders, a lot of gaps and crevices there. And then you have to try to see that firefighters are trying to contain flames between gaps and crevices, which is near impossible to do and near impossible to get in ahead of really all those flames. So this is kind of the terrain they're going to be dealing with getting up there. And that is going to continue not just for the next couple of days because they're dealing with a lot of those really strong winds. But as long as the fire continues moving uphill, this is going to be a huge issue. Now, I want to show you an example of exactly what they're dealing with. So bear with me here. We do have our fire extinguisher. We have here some water on the side just in case. But if you've ever been, obviously, to a birthday party, lit the candles, you get your match and you swipe. Let me just uh, try to get that going there. It burns at a normal rate. You see it kind of just moving nicely along. But as soon as you go down to light those candles and tilt up, it's grabbing onto as much wood as much as it can, and it is burning quickly, moving right up toward the top of my fingers. I'm going to put that in there and just drop it. But that's what's happening upslope. Instead of just grabbing that piece of wood, it's now grabbing along with wood and trees, a lot of that dry vegetation and grass. And then the fans, or really the winds, fan those flames there to even create longer spot fires, long range ones. Embers on those trees really float and move at a long distance. And Walt, that is a very dangerous situation, especially with those strong winds. Yeah, your example makes total sense of it. You know, once it's going up the slope, it burns much quicker. Okay, Carly, thank you for doing that.